What's going on guys? Killer6 back with another episode of this gun king rocks and this time we're taking a look at the shred of fire assault rifle now the shred of fire is a dedicated drop from the raging titan at the end of the slaughter shaft with no mayhem or dlc requirements this gun can also world drop meaning it can be obtained randomly from any enemy any chest or the diamond loot room vending machines etc etc now this gun is decent as just the shred of fire but what makes this gun so much better is if you manage to get one that has the super prefix now what that means is it's going to have the under barrel double barrel attachment you'll be able to tell it apart from the regular version just by looking at it because you'll see two sets of barrels on the gun the gun has a total of four under barrel options and they're all weighted differently meaning that the double barrel option is actually harder to get than all the other options it also has five different grip options and only one of those options will add an additional projectile ideally you also want to go for maximum damage on this version as the accuracy isn't too bad so that's a one in three chance to get the right four grip finally this gun has a 50 59% chance to be a non-elemental. That means 41% chance for it to be one of the other elements, which boils down to an 8.2% chance to get a particular element. You factor all of it in together and all of a sudden you have less than a 0.03% chance to get this gun to drop in its best possible state. This is near 94% sham levels of luck needed to get this thing. Just getting the super prefix alone on this gun isn't the challenge. I mean, I've gotten several of those, but even that is tough odds that only 9% of all shred of fires that actually drop will have the super prefix, but getting the super with the times two with an element and max damage, that is hard to get. Now, the one that I'm using in this footage isn't even the max damage version. It's close, but it's not quite max damage. But that's how good this gun is. Even though I don't have like a perfect version, it's still really good. Even the non super shred of fire version, even just the regular shred of fire is good and uh, very capable of doing pretty good damage. Now, the shred of fire did receive a massive buff back on November 9th of 2020, increasing the weapon damage by 120%. And that buff was absolutely needed because before that, this gun felt like it was was used to tickle enemies to death. The special ability of this gun is that sustained fire will increase the weapon fire rate up to a particular limit. This makes this extremely powerful for most vault hunters, especially Moe's and Flak, because Flak, you can land crits and retain ammo. With Moe's, you can keep ammo going pretty much nonstop. That means you can shoot this thing crazy fast, do crazy damage, and keep your ammo going fairly well. On the other vault hunters, it's a little trickier. You can use terror anointments to regen ammo. You can also, using Zane, you can use the while clone is active regen ammo anointment and that will help this is definitely however not an amara weapon because amara doesn't have any great way to regenerate ammo like the other characters do as for generalized anointments that i would recommend aside from the uh, clone ammo regen anointment for zane for mo's consecutive hits is good however i would say next to mags because you would basically be able to keep that going almost non-stop on flak any of the anointments that boost whatever action skill you're going with whether it's fade away or gamma burst what have you or again next two mags again is really good now is this gun better than other options like the monarch no not at all not not really not no uh-uh but it is really hard to get and it is really good making this essentially the 94 sham of borderlands 3 in my opinion really hard to obtain especially with the perfect rolls just that's exactly what the 94 sham is you don't need a 94 sham to be a good sham but getting the best possible rolls is what makes it so fun to chase and so rare to get and the same holds true with the super shred of fire just getting a super shred of fire is good but getting a super shred of fire with times two and and an element of your choice and max damage now that is something to chase. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, then please make sure you hit the like button, tap subscribe, and tickle that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another episode. Let me know in the comment section below what gun you'd like to see next on this series. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.